Hey guys, Link HD here, and in this video, we're going to be talking all things chaining and shiny hunting in Tales of Tenorio, coming at you with the best strategies, methods, and more on how you can get your first shiny Tenorian. If you guys do enjoy this video, go down there, like, subscribe, and let's get straight into it. Alright, so first of all, what the heck is a shiny? Well, if you don't know what a shiny is, it's essentially the same thing as Pokemon. It is just a cosmetic variation of the creature that has these little sparkles and everything. It doesn't really provide any advantage inside of the game other than looking cool. Now, there are two methods to actually hunt shiny and some obviously have specific Tenorians. Obviously, the first one is going to be Ruptures slash Raids, and this is going to be locked to just exclusive events and stuff like that, and again, I'll be touching on that a little bit, just considering the fact that, you know, I made an entire video about it, but then there is everything else. There is the wild hunting, chain hunting, you know, literally just everything. Alright, so to start out, chain hunting. Chain hunting is basically whenever you kill a Tenorian, you're going to be getting plus one onto a chain, which then increases your shiny odds to the lowest point of one in 256. Now, we're going to be going into specifications and all that stuff in just a second. However, how do you actually chain? Well, as you can see at the bottom right right here, this is the Tenorian that you are chaining, and this is how, you know, how much your chain is, basically. So, again, in order to chain, you need to walk up to a Tenorian. So, in this case, I am chaining King Kitweed. And to chain Kitweed, I'm basically just going to knock it out every single time that I see it out inside of the wild. Once I knock it out, it is going to add plus one onto my chain. A Tenorian's chain can cap out at 1,000 encounters. However, in order to actually get the 1 in 256, you know, lowest odds possible for a shiny Tenorian, you're going to want to faint around 400 to 500 of the Tenorian that you are hunting to actually get to those odds. However, there are some things that can actually prevent your chain and reset it if you're not careful. And what are those things? If your chain is under 50, killing any other Tenorian that is not the Tenorian that you are currently chaining will always break it. However, once you go past 50 in your chain and you accidentally knock something out that you didn't mean to, again, that was not the thing that you're intending to chain, it will not break your chain. However, if you catch any Tenorian at any point inside of your chain, it is going to completely reset it. Tenorians that are shiny and spawn out inside of the wild, whether that be inside of the grass running around or whether that be just inside of the overworld right here will not reset your chain however if the tenorian is the thing that you're hunting so for example if a shiny you know kitweed just spawned right now my chain would actually just disappear and again there's a bunch of visual indicators as well for when you see a shiny and tells a tenorio there's a big giant bright beam of light if you're pretty far away from it and there's also sparkles alongside the color change so to recap what can actually actually reset your chain is catching any Tenorian, encountering a shiny of the Tenorian that you are chaining, whether that be in the overworld or whether that be in the grass, and also killing Tenorians under a chain of 50. All of those right there will reset your chain. Now what can't reset your chain? Killing Tenorians over a chain of 50, and a shiny spawning of the thing you're not hunting. So again, if something completely different to what I'm hunting right now spawned out inside of the wild, my chain would not break. Now, getting shiny to Tenorians sometimes can be difficult. Sometimes they just don't want to stay in the Tano Cans, so what do you do about that? Well, if you know inside of like literally any Pokemon game or any creature capturing game ever, the lower the HP that you get a Tenorian, the more easier it is to capture. And the best Tenorian to do stuff like this is Dynastogan. Dynastogan actually learns a move called Pity Punch right here, which again, if you've played, you know, Pokemon, it's basically False Swipe. If you've played Lumion Legacy, it's basically Spare. What it essentially does is it will always leave the target with one HP. Just a good move to use on a Tenorian to bring them down to low health, and again, throw your Tano Cans at it to catch it. Inside of Tales of Tenorio, there are no paid boosts for shiny increases or legendary increases or anything like that. Your best friend in this situation is literally just going to be your incenses. Now, incenses you can purchase from the shops inside of Tales of Tenorio for around 250 Robux after level 15, and you have one gym badge. How However, if you actually start to do ruptures inside of Tales of Tenorio, which are essentially the little raid system that we have in the game, you can actually get these incenses for free just by winning the battles. The main thing that incenses do is basically make it so that it is easier to encounter Tenorians out inside of the wild, as well as spawning more Tenorians inside of the grass, basically just boosting how much Tenorians can spawn inside of certain areas. Now, there's also the other type of incense, which is going to be the conservation incense 
incense. The conservation incense is going to spawn all three of these starters. You can get this by beating the seven star ruptures or the event ruptures or by buying these for 250 Robux. However, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves with that entire thing. Let's talk about some great visual indicators and some tips for actually spotting overworld shinies. Make sure if you are shiny hunting and, you know, you're not really paying attention too much to go ahead and turn on the sound. Not only, obviously, is the soundtrack really, really good, but the shiny sound actually is very loud. Yes. Nice. Okay. Got it, got it. Whoa! 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 Guys! If a shiny spawns inside of the overworld, again, example being, you know, one of these Tudorians right here is shiny, it will actually make a sound and have a giant beam kind of shooting out from it if you're far away from it. There also exists a special shiny screen for whenever you find a shiny inside of the overworld or inside of the grass, again, to more just help visualize it better if you are a, again, like, a, I guess I'll say a lazy hunter, you know? You're just kind of casually doing it you're watching youtube on the side or something like that hey i mean i do the exact same thing all right but again all of these are just great visual indicators just to be on the lookout for now what can you actually shiny hunt inside of tales of tenorio and you know how rare is certain things well the first thing and the most obvious is going to be legendaries now the current legendary in the game which is flat weather is a one in one thousand chance and the special thing about legendaries is they do not have the same chain rate as other tenorians Basically, you don't need as many of the legendary killed to actually get the same base 1 in 256 odds. I don't know the exact specifics on it since Topia hasn't put it out, but it is a lot less essentially to actually get that 1 in 256. So the lowest possible chance for you to actually get a shiny legendary inside of the game is a 1 in 256,000. The next thing that you should be on the lookout for and the next rarest thing is going to be Alpha Tenorians. Alpha Tenorians are Tenorians that are a lot bigger in size. These Tenorians are going to be a 1 in 1,000 chance and appear on mostly every route with only one specific, you know, Alpha Tenorian appearing on that route. So, for example, Kaigen Cliffs has an Alpha Snow Kit that you can find and it is huge. And when you evolve it, it turns into a huge Tanuka Ice. And these things are going to be as well shiny eligible. And the thing about these, obviously, is, you know, with the ch entire chains and all that stuff you can actually chain these at normal odds you don't need to chain an alpha and then another alpha and then another alpha a regular chain is always going to affect something like this Next though, we're going to be talking about route rares. Now, route rares are essentially just Tenorians that appear more rarely on routes than others. You know, some examples of this could be like Fordrake in the Mine Depths, which is a 1% chance. And then you also have other stuff like Opaline, which is found in Dewfall Den at a 1 in 70 chance. I don't know the exact percentage on that, but it's a 1 in 70 chance. And then again, you have other stuff like Kitweed that is a route rare. Then you have Chickbin and Pontero Pasture. Again, stuff like that, you know, these more uncommon slash rare spawn these are going to be even more prized than your average tenorian that you see you know kind of just every day you know you walk into the route and you see like 30 of them out there again these route rare tenorians are going to be a lot rarer and definitely something that you are going to want to hunt obviously when it comes time for trading these are going to be worth a lot the final thing that you should be hunting is going to be Event Tenorians. Now, Event Tenorians, at least as it stands right now, there's not many in the game. There's literally just the Event Anniversary Drippo. However, I'm going to be talking about the way that Event Ruptures work. So, whenever you go into an Event Rupture, if you have between one and three people, anytime that you do that Event Rupture or Seven Star Rupture, you are going to be catching that Tenorian and having a 1 in 512 chance for that Tenorian to be shiny when it goes to your PC box. If you play with four players, that actually bumps up to a 1 in 200. And that is going to be across for all players. All players are going to have that 1 in 200 chance or 1 in 512 chance to actually get that Tenorian shiny. So again, you know, the current shiny event Tenorian that we have in the game right now is the shiny anniversary Drippo. Again, this thing is a super, super prized, you know, Tenorian. And the entire fight, if you actually just get a couple people, is super easy to take down 
and a pretty fun thing to shiny hunt. From doing those drip raids, you can actually get yourself, like I said earlier, some conservation incenses, which again are used to hunt these starters, so it is something I definitely recommend. The only other last little bit of uh, thing that I guess I'll say is there is a special Tenurian if you decide to uh, kill a shiny Tenurian on purpose or by accident. It is going to be the Tenurian Too Many. Too Many, essentially every single time that you kill a shiny Tenurian, is going to be sent to your box as a little just the uh, it, I mean, that's just the obtainment method. You know, you just kill a shiny Tenorian, you get that Tenorian in its place. And that Tenorian can also be shiny. So again, that is another thing to hunt, obviously although a very difficult hunt, uh, but that is going to be a 1 in 200 chance for that shiny right there. Again, a boosted shiny with that. But yeah, I think that about covers literally everything for shiny hunting, chaining, all that stuff. If you have any questions, be sure, you know, to put them down in the comments below. Either myself or other people inside of the community can definitely help you out. But yeah, I hope obviously, you know, you get out there, shiny hunts, find your first shiny Tenorian, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.